Well, take a look at this. All those red dots there, that is a cluster that represents just some of the many grocery stores that have set up shop in Greensboro. They all seem to be within a 10 mile radius. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice there are areas that have fewer stores or really none at all. Some of those areas are what experts call food deserts. WFMY News 2's Adoria Chumba digs deeper into how challenging the issue is for our area. Trader Joe's, Sprouts, Little and Publix, all grocery chains bringing jobs and better food options. But Greensboro residents, rather some Greensboro residents, say these grand openings are just too far away from the areas that actually need grocery stores. When I buy groceries, it's to Walmart about two or two and a half miles down Cone Boulevard. My travel time could be cut in half. Sometimes I have to go to Food Line and go to Gate because sometimes Food Line on East Market ain't gonna have what I'm looking for. East Greensboro residents say they have to go a distance to get groceries. The area is one of 17 identified food deserts in Greensboro with a total of 24 in Guilford County. The U.S. Department of Agriculture defines a food desert as a residential area with a high level of poverty and where at least one third of its residents live more than a mile away from a grocery store. For those who struggle with transportation issues, to get on a bus, to go to a grocery store across town really prevents you from being able to you know, access the types of services you're trying to go after. Area advocates say developers and investors are missing an opportunity by focusing only on the west side of the city. In East Greensboro, we have the third highest buying power in the city of Greensboro. So therefore, there is a tremendous need, not only for grocery store, but for other services. And neighbors say they could do with more options. Uh, they may love to see more grocery stores in the neighborhood. I would be happy to have one right there. Now, East Greensboro Now Director says there are plans in the works to attract the grocery store to some of the vacant developments in the area, but he couldn't offer specific details about the plans.